here on double rt boxing ready ready talk boxing please subscribe if you have not already thank you for the thumbs up and continue on by thumbing up this video this video is a as the title have said breakdown prediction for triple g versus canelo alvarez highly anticipated fight so uh, please thumbs up this video i could tell you right now this in my eyeballs a prediction is in it in a knockout a stoppage so thumbs up if you like knockouts and th stoppages thumbs up if you really want to see your favorite fighter knock out the other person now we're gonna go with Canelo since he is a challenger in this fight he has I would say the faster hands in combinations. He has youth on his side. <laughs> I think he has uh, maybe probably overall going to have the weight advantage in the fight. But depending, is he going to ditch the IBF's 10 pound minimum weigh in? You know, so no one's mentioning that. You know? Is he going to come in 170 or higher? So that's real interesting. That's a real key fact. You know, is he finally going to be the same weight as somebody, not heavier? If if he is 170, same weight, this fight gets real interesting. Now he has a uh, he has Canelo. He has really good uh fast like twitch muscles he, he could since the Floyd match he learned how to do a shoulder um, kind of a pull counter he learned he, he learned how to fight off the ropes kind of savor that energy because Canelo always had a problem with uh, energy spurts he had run out of gas so now he kind of learned how to do a rope a dope against the ropes he has good, uh, his best asset is probably uh, left hooks to the body for me. I think Canelo's best, yeah, his best asset is probably left hooks to the body. It, <clears throat> it always saves him in fights. When he's losing, it brings him back in fights. He has good, he has a good speed burst and probably allows him about a three punch combination. With his quick head movements, you know, he could pull a counter, go against the ropes, and left hooks. He has a decent jab, but he doesn't quite jab himself in enough. Uh, his uh, his ring generalship ain't ain't that good. He's not too good at cutting out the ring up. He's getting better at it, but he kind of like follows you around in little hops. Now... It's all surveyed out his whole career. Movement gives Canelo big time problems. Uh, Laura, big time problems. He was losing that fight big time until Laura let off the gas and allowed uh, Triple G, I mean, <laughs> allowed the Canelo to get back in. And even then, when Canelo was coming back in the fight, he, he had no answer. But the way he answered, what Canelo's real good is, he's good at a. He'll throw a hook where you're going to move to. A lot of people are like, when you're moving, they try and hit you. He'll, he'll, he'll place the punch to where you're going to be. And that's why you always get hit by it. And it, say, it bails him out a lot. But movement gives him trouble. Laura gave him movement trouble. And uh, he was able just to throw that left, and Laura just ran into it, the, the, the body hook. Um, Floyd gave him all types of problems with movement and timing just you know just off timing his like when you move boom he, he like set his canelo feet needs to be set he's a power puncher power puncher counter puncher you move his feet ain't set and, and it's all about timing with canelo just move him and time him and he has big time problems and then you had a uh, con con giving him movement and Khan was boxing his ears off, just moving, resetting them, moving, resetting them. It's all about being first in speed, you know. And 
that's his biggest downfall is he he could be reset it and he could be jabbed to death. Now we'll be able to cut you off. Hopefully he gets better now. Movement and jabbing, that's right up Triple G's alley. People could say Triple G don't have movement, but he does. He moves around the ring very well. He, he His feet are good for either stalking you down or buying him space. He, he, he don't have fast movement, but he knows how to do, take the proper steps. To, to cover the ring, to, to cover the, the the surface of the ring, to, to get where he needs to be. It won't. It's, it doesn't look fast, but it, it looks pretty. It's smart. Now, he has a hell of a jab. It was shown in the David Lemieux fight. Now he has the jab and the movement that to cause Canelo trouble. Now Triple G also doesn't have the greatest. Uh, head movement so Canelo will be able to land shots but the thing is I believe Triple G is a, a, a has the IQ in boxing to give Canelo problems like Lara a boxer Khan a boxer Mayweather a boxer you know Triple G is a boxer he just he, he could when he wants to be a boxer he's a really good boxer and if you keep the distance on Canelo, you see in his previous fight, he's a reach. He will overreach, you know. He was overreaching against Khan. The famous overreach against Floyd when Floyd leaks out, looks out the ring. So, I, you know, Triple G is going to, he can use the ring. He has a jab. And he has the power punches. So, if Canelo can't just... You know, try and walk him down and walk through a jab con. He did Laura Khan, you know, and he was able to get back into those fights because he, he was able to, like, kind of overpower them with punches. Triple G is going to have a power to kind of really, like, keep a dis keep him at distance. And if he wants to come in and try and test it, he could really walk into something. And he has body shots of his own, so... This is going to be the first time I believe Canelo is going to go into the ring at the same weight if he does not skip the IBF next day weigh-in. That's going to be a big, big tell what his plan is for this fight. If he skips that thing, he's going to, if he skips the IBF weigh-in, he's going to try and go in heavy and either muscle him or just go in heavy to survive the shots. So... This is going to be the first time Canelo goes into the ring with someone who can match his power, his body shot, same weight. And uh, for the first time, all that, and they're a better boxer than him. Maybe even a better body game. The only thing Triple G doesn't do, he, he, does, he can't out-combination Canelo. Now that being said... You got Canelo combinations, head movement, shoulder counter pulls, the rope of dopes off the ropes. Uh, his def his lack of defense, his hop, his he can't cut he can't cut can't cut the ring off. Uh, he tried tri triage to hawk you down, but he, you know he's in the ring with the hawk master Triple G. He'll hawk you down, but I think in this fight Triple G is going to use a jab. So my prediction is I have right here on Double RT Boxing, Mr. A. Please subscribe, thumbs up the videos, leave a comment down below. Who do you got in this fight? This is a big fight, guys. Leave a comment. Who do you have? My prediction is Triple G is going to stop Canelo. He's going to jab him, jab him, jab him. You know, do occasional bottle body work here and there. Make Canelo reach. And then eventually... It's going to wear him down, get a little tired, get a little tired. And then he's going to start walking him down. He's going to, Triple G's going to start walking Canelo down. And eventually he's just going to, he's going to stop him. He's going to stop him. I say around 10th, 11th round, he's going to stop Canelo. Right here on Double RT Boxing, this is Mr. A making a prediction of Triple G stopping Canelo. Thank you for your support. Thumbs up if you like this prediction. Thumbs up. 
if you don't like this prediction, it's thumbs up for the effort in boxing being number one. You know, just make a thumbs up for this video, people. I love, I love it, I love it, I love it. Love the support. And that is it. Mr. A is out. Leave a comment and show your support, guys. Show your support. Thank you.